Good morning. I hope you're all keeping well um, and safe and looking after each other. Today's art lesson, we're going to do bookmarks. And I thought this was a nice idea because I know that you'll be reading a lot at home. And what happens is when you finish your page, they're easy just to slip on and then close your book and then that's your page saved. Um, there's lots of different designs we can do. So I've got a few here which I've chosen. So if you keep watching, I'll show you how to make them. Right, so what we need to start with is paper. You can have coloured paper, scissors, glue stick and pens. Okay, to start, we're going to need an A4 sheet of paper. To get a perfect square, you have to go from corner to corner and just line it up. Not like me, that's it, like that. Fold a crease. Okay, when you've got that crease, and what you can do is turn it over and where this point is, fold it back so you can see the line behind. Alright, so you end up with that. And then this bit, all you have to do is just cut it off. Alright, I'm not going to cut it. I'm going to... It's best if you use scissors, not like me. Alright, so we've got that. Once you've done that, okay, fold it back over to the point, we end up with a triangle. This point and this point, you need to match them up. All right, it's important that you match them as close as you can, because when you line this bit up, there's not got to be a gap. All right, so you line it up as close as you possibly can. All right, so it looks like that. Then what happens, this bit, this folded bit, you flip this back, you fold this back like that, and you fold these over. Instead of leaving them down the bottom, you have to tuck them inside. Put them inside like that. Okay, so that's one done. Flip this one down, make sure it lines up. And then you fold that one inside. And then end up with something like that. When you're making the ears or the feet, my advice is to fold the paper in half, cut out one ear. And what will happen is you'll end up with two. Same with the feet. Alright, so cut out one foot. Side. Inside, like that. Okay. Alright, next we need a tail. So pick a your tail. Um, it's quite a zigzaggy one, to be fair. So it doesn't matter how it looks, you do it how you feel. It's like a kind of light and stripe, I think. Mine looks like that, and all you do is a bit of glue on that, just stick this tail on. Okay, then what you need is a marker, so put a bit of a tint on his ears, a bit of a line, just to define it, and his feet. Eyes. So his eyes, either side, you keep circling until you end up with a tiny white. Oh, it's a yellow, but you know what I mean. Tiny bit. It's like the whites of his eyes. Alright, then he needs his nose. Yeah. 
Es mau. Next, he wants his little red cheeks. And there you have it. Pikachu bookmark. Okay, quite simple. Okay, I'll quickly show you the minion one. All right, because that's quite a good one. Cut the pieces out to start with just to make it easier so first of all i cut out a little square what fits on the bottom so i'll glue that first glue stick, that it. stick that onto that card like so all right made them a little belt all right so the belt that sticks on there don't worry about it overlapping at the edges because we can cut that off after. That's his other belt. That fits. Alright, then what you need to do with that is just cut that bit off. Follow it all the way around to where the triangle ends. Same with this side. Alright, you've got that. I made this eye earlier, so it didn't take too long. All right, so what best thing to do with that? Glue that one on. Done a little pocket. That's your main room one. I hope you enjoyed making those. Um, it would be nice to see some on Mr. Brush's home schooling if you do get a chance to make any. Um, look after yourselves and we'll see you soon. Bye!